Join us today as we show you how to use the rotisserie on our brand new Weber Genesis grill. It's time to get cooking. All right, it is time to do an unboxing and let's show you everything that's included. All right, let's take everything out of the box. We'll show you what is in here. Looks like we've got our adapter. We've got that rotisserie motor, a little bit more hardware and the rotisserie spike. Well, we've got our rotisserie forks right here. And the great thing about it is these are designed to hold some big cuts and smaller cuts as well. This is going to be our mounting adapter that's gonna to go to the grill, but hey, check it out. Make sure you go through and peel this protective plastic off of here first, because you definitely don't want this melting to the side of that beautiful, beautiful grill. Then when it comes to the uh, skewer, right? We have a little bit of assembly to do. So we're actually gonna put this part on here, get this all adjusted and then we will get this other side added on as well all right just like that so we'll have the fork all done we've got our uh, or skewer i mean we've got our forks done our motor now will hold and spin up to 20 pound turkey uh, or 20 pounds of anything really so that's awesome so first things first get this plastic finished let's go out and put this on the grill as we get ready to mount this, there are two sets of mounting holes. That is gonna raise this adapter up uh, to make sure that you meet the tunnel, kind of, uh, so to speak, with the skewer. And we have determined that we are mounting in the bottom set of holes. All right, when it comes time to put it on, we'll push that in, kind of help guide that. We've got one, looks like lock nut with a little washer on there, a little lock washer. We will put that on like so, and get that affixed. And I like to hold that just a little bit hand tight, just to kind of hold everything where it's at. Do the same thing on this side. Now that we're all done, we're gonna give it a little snug down here. I've got my handy multi-tool, and we'll go ahead and make sure that is nice and secure because hey, don't forget, holding up to, this is holding up to a 20 pound turkey. Okay, give it a test fit. Oh man, we're in a good place. We're gonna go ahead and give the skewer a test fit too, but look at this, I know what you're thinking. Oh man, I did something wrong, it doesn't fit. Absolutely not, watch this. What you'll do is put your skewer on and then guide that right back on there and guess what? This now slides up and down on there, but we are good to go. All right, now that we've plugged it in and we've given it a test, one of the things I like to do is find my center point. So I'm actually gonna find that middle burner and make sure I mark that so I can hold it. This is gonna help me when it comes time to uh, line up whatever I'm spinning on the rotisserie, make sure that it is centered, whether we're cooking direct or indirect. Now that we uh, have used a paring knife just to kind of mark the center, here's what I'm going for, right? I wanna make sure, today we're doing chicken, so I wanna make sure my chicken is right in the center, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, what I'm going to do is remove this, and now I know the outside of my skewer has to be, or my fork has to be right about there, so we go ahead, slide that on, and we'll start just like that, getting it all lined up and ready for our cooking. We went ahead and seasoned this with one of our rubs. It is time to get this loaded in. So make sure you get in through that cavity. All right, so we got it all seasoned. Now we're gonna go ahead and get it loaded onto the rotisserie skewer and also onto the forks. And what I'm gonna do is actually turn this a little bit, right? So I get a little bit of big fork, little fork on each side. And then I'm gonna make sure I definitely do the same to this side, but we'll finish. We'll get it all lined up and I'll see you out on the grill. Make sure you have a power source outside. Make sure it is grounded. Get it all hooked up. You're good to go. As you can see, we have got it all loaded. Now, the best thing about these new Genesis grills is look at this. Grill grade is in, and I'm able to put that drip tray right under the chicken. So we'll fire it up. We will get it spinning. That is pretty awesome. And there you have it, a great accessory to go with your Weber grill. That rotisserie is gonna allow you to do chicken, pork roast, prime rib, turkey, and more. And you know what goes great with that? Grilled corn. That recipe is coming up next.